So here we go, round three. Now, actually, this was round two, so I, I'm actually making this a bit more dramatic than it really was. Um, this was round two, and because it was the same map as round one, it all got a bit confusing. So I've, I've spaced them out. Anyway, this is the uh, this is the decider. Well, not really, but anyway, <laughs> let's just play. So the purpose of this one again is, um, you know, we, we generally we don't really generally do three court battles in a row, um, only for the reason that it's quite a complex. Um, you know, long enduring thing to do. It takes about 20 minutes, maybe 25, maybe even 30 minutes to do a court battle. So that kind of is quite draining um, when you set up three in a row. And this was, uh, it was quite an endurance event, I must admit. But um, it was good fun. I must, yeah, I think it was good. We got a lot of the different members of the court in as well. It wasn't the same group all the way through. So um, I think there's a, you know, it's, it's always good to do these. And a comment uh, from our, our comrade general uh, Zebeth was very, <laughs> very, very well put, which was, you know, we're only looking at one side of the attack here. The the previous match, um, the, you know, round two, was um, was exceptionally well defended, and that was obviously using a tactic. So go check out the comments on that video. Zebeth gave some really good uh, points there, and I think Rio, really, uh, this is this is why we do court battles. And I know we keep saying this, but it's really around. You need to kind of be aware of, I guess, the changing and dynamic nature of this game as well. I mean, you know, we. It is quite a, an interesting game in terms of its dynamism because there is always some kind of movement. Even if you're being redlined, that all of a sudden may be a, a switch in that map, and then all of a sudden, you know, there's a there's an, a break, uh, a breakout. So, I like that kind of um, you know, you know, almost dynamic methods that you see in this game. And I think these core battles are really good ways to practice that because skirmishes and I guess all the general instant battles are pretty terrible when it comes to actually doing proper tactical style squad play because most people are generally just rushing for whatever objective is available to them and that's disappointing in a way because I think a lot of people don't play tactically when they play uh, instant battles, they play, you know, almost play an auto platform. And that's, a, that's an issue. So I think court battles are really good. And again, if your corp isn't doing court battles, talk to your CEO and get them to uh, set some up. It's ever so easy with an old corp. We've shown your video how to do that. Um, and I think it's certainly good fun as well, you know, getting the ability to shoot your own teammates. You know, you can also see how other teammates uh, play. Maybe pick up some tactics, pick up some uh, fitting guides, etc. It's it's always a good thing. And again, you get to play with eight people instead of four. So I think there's um, you know there's a real incentive almost there to do court battles. Um, I wouldn't say they're really good things to kind of try and dominate. I mean, again, I know a lot of people they throw isk at these things. Um, into court battles, yeah, I can get that. But if you're doing friendlies, maybe just a few rules on you know being careful because you're, you're actually just draining your own corpse resources if you use Aurum and <laughs> very expensive stuff all the time. Um, but that's by no means um, you know a reason not to use them. I think it's more just a case of you know you should try and just maybe you know play the game with a bit of moderation and a bit of you know see what else you can do. And we had a really good question. A few of the guys are looking to fly dropships, so we're going to do court battles to show them how to fly dropships. So, you know, you don't even have to shoot each other. You could actually just set up a 16-man battle and just do an agreement that you'll stay in each half of the map. And then, you'll, you know, all right, today I'm going to practice my tank fit. I'm going to practice my tank evasion. Maybe you're going to practice mass driver and get used to maybe some the maps. I mean, again, the, we use these court battles to look around the maps. We, we hunt and we look and we take the dropship and we try and get into every nook and cranny on every map. And I think that's an incredibly valuable le a lesson to learn particularly when districts come in because what you're going to find when districts come in is that the maps will be persistent as in they will stay the same I guess so what that means is is that you become familiar with them so you almost want to set up like you know mock battles with your your own alts pretending to as assail the clone bay or rather the, the the clone stock of that district so you can just sit and learn your district I don't know if we're going to have the ability to walk around the district when the, it's not under attack that would be awesome if we could because again just the ability to call in dropships and, and LAVs and tanks and maybe just the odd fit and you know learn where the snipers could sit it gives the defender the, the advantage that you would expect them to have because attackers may not know the map as well as the defenders as it should be so 
Um, hopefully that becomes a tactic. Again, I did look at the forums and I didn't really see anything about it. So if anybody knows, post in the comments because the ability to just to maybe set up defenses, as in not static defenses, but knowing that in this map maybe there's a really good sniper point, maybe knowing that there's also a really kind of general bottleneck, whatever it may be, just understanding what those are gives you a huge benefit um, in, in, in all aspects. So I really do hope that that's a, a feature that, if not in the first uh, uh, release, maybe becomes you know uh, very closely soon after because I would love the idea of being able to kind of walk around with your team and <laughs> actually kind of say to them, right, okay, when this map starts, you go there. Okay, you go here, right, this is your plan. <laughs> and I know it's kind of, it, it sounds very organized and I'm sure that we would end up just, you know, ending up shooting each other anyway, but I do like the idea of it. I think it's got a lovely uh, you know, concept to it. I think also in terms of the way that um, just generally corporations operate as well. But generally players you know, tend to stick together in sort of little subgroups as well. So, you know, we've got a number of uh, squads who generally are always kind of running together, which is again awesome. That's exactly what we want to see because the familiarity of your squad mates is as good as um, any fit you can have. Just understanding that, okay, well I run, this is my squad, we always generally run together if we're on, and that means that so-and-so is a Lodgy, so-and-so is a Scout, and then the other two are Heavies or whatever it may be. That, that's exactly the familiarity that court battles brings because yes, you can get that from instant battles and skirmishes, but it's also getting that guy, those guys to work more as a squad as well. Probably observed by this court battle here, I mean, again, you know, by the end of it, it was pretty much, um, you know, kind of one, one way road, let's say, but it was good in that we actually were able to kind of highlight some of the challenges that maybe the enemy team had. So, you know, we're all dark stars, so this was always a, an interesting one to say, well, look, you guys are running solo too often. You're, you're, you think you're playing against them battle, I guess. And that's obviously the, the challenge of what um, this court particularly has to do, is because we do have a lot of people who are very good at running ambush and skirmish, and it's all about how can we get them to work more as a team. And court battles are obviously a natural way to do that, because, you know, that's, that's the way it is. So there we go, victory, 2-1 to Squad B, my alt corp. Um, again, we'll do lots more of these, but um, you know, I think if you're not doing them, please do them. And I think uh, you know, if you're in the corp and you haven't done one yet, mail me and we'll make sure you get in one. But there we go, hope you enjoyed that. More Toll Rumble to come very soon.